So getting back to the, the blind cleaning and repair, you've been in business for how long? I'm going on my fourth year. The gentleman I bought the business, he's been doing it uh, since the early 90s. Early 90s. So it's it's basically a lot of technology. Yes. Um, you know, I talked about my experience. Pat probably doesn't have any experience cleaning blinds, but most uh -huh. chicks out there that do. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's not easy to do. It's very time consuming. It's very frustrating. Uh, personally, I think they're impossible to get clean. However, with your technology, with the ultrasonic cleaning, the blinds in my home, not only were the strings perfectly bright white, like brand new, um, the blinds themselves were perfectly smooth and clean, no residue, no discoloration. Like, you know, when you clean something, sometimes you can see a streak, yes. even on a blind or what, I mean, nothing. They looked like they were out of the box. I was hugely impressed. I want to thank you You're welcome. for coming and doing the work for me and hope that our listeners will, uh, you know, possibly give you a call and see what you might be able to do for them. I'm going to give your number, which is 334-2010, which should be easy to remember, right? Yes. This year, <laughs> three three four twenty ten dirtyblinds.com of Western New York. Um, how many repairs do you think? You, do you typically do a cleaning with a repair? Do you come out and just do Quite a repair? Quite often. I, I've done both. You know, if someone just has a blind that has broke, I'll go out there and I'll fix it. You know, but you know, if they haven't been cleaning in a while, I'll also clean them while I'm there. And certainly, the cost is much less expensive than purchasing new oh yes probably around a quarter of the cost a quarter of the cost and we mentioned earlier it's environmentally friendly so not only are you not chucking blinds into a landfill somewhere pat but <laughs> <laughs> but you know you're the the solution that you're using to clean them is environmental no off gassing when you hang them back up of bleach fumes pat oh, i like the off gas it makes my house smell clean <laughs> oh, clean has no smell did you ever hear that? Yes. That's what Clean they say. Clean has no smell. True. That's what they say. It's, I just, it we'll, is true. We'll go there on the steaming thing on the, you know, the floor steamer another time. Okay. We will. Is that yeah. what they say on the floor steamer? Well, I don't know. It doesn't smell. It doesn't I smell clean. I want to wrap this around a little bit to a real estate perspective mm -hmm. because I would have to think from a real estate point of view, if someone's going to be putting their home up for sale... That's got to be one of the most important things to have looking good because window treatments stay with the home. Do they or do they not? Most of the time, yes. They do. And mm -hmm. they're they're considered a part of the fixture. They yeah. stick to the house. They're stuck. They don't go mm -hmm. with the homeowner like the couch, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I would guess in that um, I'm going to just tell you all, if you're selling your house, those things should be clean Yes. because right. people are going to look at them. And if you're anything like me... I will go through and look. That's what I look for because anybody when they're selling a house can fix it up and spruce it up and turn it over or whatever. But I look in the corners. I look in the window cells. I look in places to see how did these people maintain over the years. That's mm. important to me um, because you can fix anything up real quick and make it look good with a coat of paint. But right. in a year or two, you're going to see what's really underneath that. So yeah. I'm a big sniffer. You're, you know, when I'm going through a house, I like to look. You know, in the corners and in the cracks, and particularly around the windows. I mean, that's a place where a lot of dirt collects. Mm -hmm. How clean were my window sills, Wayne? Pretty clean. That's right. <laughs> Don't lie. No, they were, they were <laughs> very right. clean. Oh, very, very clean. That's <laughs> right. My windows, not so much. I have two dogs and two kids. However, you know, I really try and keep up on that. I think that's part of maintaining the home mm -hmm. and keeping it nice. So you also um, sell and install blinds. Yes. And we want to talk the about trailer. the fact that... Wayne and mm -hmm. DirtyBlinds.com of Western New York comes to you. Yeah, that's the other bonus of this this whole operation here is that you call Wayne and say, "Come do my blinds." He yeah. comes. You don't. You know. You don't do, know he's there. He takes everything out to the trailer where you have your ultrasonic. Mm -hmm. um, is it a sink? I mean, I did check it out. I have to say, I got I got right in that trailer because I thought it was so cool. Yeah. Cool, but I couldn't take any pictures in there. But oh, I tried. You're not allowed to because that's called uh, patent, right? Your yes. infringement stuff. So you're not allowed to take pictures. Well, let, tell me, tell me how. I mean, the process. This is a mobile thing, so he comes to your house on site. Yes, Wayne, you're doing. You're coming to our house on site, my house. You're doing the blinds on site. You're not taking them away and disappearing for two weeks. No. Okay, so I can't run around naked in my house without blinds, right? So you're coming in, you're going to remove the, you know, and then you're going to clean them in your secret sink that we can't take pictures of. 
Because it's a top secret top mission. Secret. I told you, right. it's like astronauts, it's like NASA. In there. Cool. That's cool. Do you get a space suit on too, Wayne? No. no. All right. No, it's well, all biodegradable. He doesn't even have to oh, wear gloves. Really? Because it's green, baby. So Bleach he, will burn your skin right <laughs> off, Pat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. It ruins my clothes, too. You know, I, I burn holes in my jeans when I start splashing that stuff around. <laughs> well, hello. I clean a boat and then wash the deck off. I had a boat once. And you clean the boat, it burned my jeans and then... It washed into the water when I cleaned <gasps> it down. You better you? turn his mic off. This the is... DC is going to be outside of the <laughs> studio. You can. I just took a safe boating class. <laughs> you cannot put anything in the water. I know, but it wasn't me putting it in the water. I washed it off with a hose. It was an accident. Oh my god! And this is before. This is before I even knew anything about green. This is going back a few years. I'm getting heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would do it to you too. That's oh, why I brought it up. I, I feel love sick. It. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the fish. <laughs> oh. There isn't any fish. No wonder you don't. can't eat them. <laughs> There's no Pat's fish. Fault. It's Pat's fault. You can't eat the fish in Lake Ontario. Damn you. No, it's not Kodak's right. fault. It's Pat's fault. It's Pat's fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wayne, Sorry, I've been Wayne. on your website, which will be hooked up to propertysourceradio.com. People will be able to re-listen to this awesome show. All week long, every hour on the hour, right from PropertySourceRadio.com. And we'll be able to link up to your website, which is DirtyBlinds.com of the Buffalo Rochester region. Um, so we'll have a link right to there and people can learn more about your business and how to get a hold of you. You do a free quote online. Yes. Yeah, so they can basically call me and I, with the measurements, we basically go by the width of the blind mm-hmm. and how many you have. And then we can give a quote right over the phone. And that includes the cleaning and the repair. Yes. If you need one, because yes. I... I'm telling you, I, I drive by someone's house, and not that I'm looking in the windows, but if mm-hmm. their blinds are crooked, I get nervous. Do you? Do you, you think there's something wrong with me? Besides the voyeurism? Actually, it's not a fault. <laughs> 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 Seriously, though, there's that drives me nuts when they're not perfectly all matching. See how Aaron's got our blind? Oh, wait, it's off One's a off. little bit. It's off about Fix a half it. an inch. Fix yeah. it. <laughs> so your website, you could get coupons mon- monthly. That was my point of going on there. Yes. So you do different coupons for different promotions. Yeah, you just go month. to find a cleaner near you and it, put in your zip code and then you can get the monthly coupons. We change them you know, oh. monthly. Okay. Is and your I, business a franchise? It is set up like a franchise, but is, it doesn't have the franchise fees. Oh, nice. okay. Okay. So you purchase, you know, you're, you purchase it from the corporate or whatever. Correct. Okay. Are you the CEO? Yes. Are you married? Yes. Damn. <laughs> do what do you like about your business i like because we're helping the customer out to get something done that they cannot do themselves or if they try they get sick of trying to do yeah it and, that's right i yeah. pretty much expressed that didn't i yes. yes and that's very that's a very key point because it's just like oh i'd rather just throw those out than figure out how to clean them but when you get some of your silhouettes and luminates that are very expensive it's it's yep. not something you're going to get rid of those faux yeah. wood blinds yeah. weren't very cheap no, either no they're not they oh. weren't. And I really was thinking, I'm going to have to get new blinds after that cleaning lady sucked up the string. Oh. <laughs> and I couldn't open them, and they were crooked, and I was getting sick. I had high anxiety. I had to go on Valium. It was bad. No, I'm kidding. I'm just Pills kidding. Pills and booze, baby. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 